striking doctors under their umbrella body the Uganda Medical Association are waiting for just the hour to meet with government officials on Wednesday to discuss their demands that tantamount amount to the ongoing strike. We submitted our requests to government and at this meeting would like the government to tell us what they have to offer. We are going there as a negotiation team. The planned meeting follows a setting up of a multi-sectoral subcommittee of cabinet on Monday to negotiate with the doctors after they dismissed a directive by the Ministry of Health to return to work. Those discussions now hang in the balance following a joint suit filed by the Uganda Medical Workers Union, the National Organization of Trade Unions and the Uganda Nurses and Midwives Association. The unions claim that the doctors' industrial action is illegal. Government declared it illegal, and even when you look at Uganda Medical Association, it is a registered company, a registered limited company. When you look at the objectives, none of it is to uh, negotiate for the health workers. So any medical worker involved in any industrial dispute is doing so as of right. And there should be no question as to your legitimate right to do so. The General Secretary of the Uganda Medical Workers Union says all striking doctors did not follow due procedure to call for a strike. The cause they are pushing forward is genuine, but only the procedure and the methods used are not acceptable. By the mere fact that the government has called us to a negotiation table means that the government has realized that the strike is legal and that they have called us back to negotiate. The union has also sued the Secretary General of the Uganda Medical Association, Dr. Ekwaro Obuku, and workers MP Dr. Samuel Moki, demanding for damages resulting from the industrial action. The Uganda Medical Association, however, insists it followed the law. This is a doctor's request. It's not a request from Uganda Medical Workers Union. And as you realize, they're not doctors under the umbrella of Uganda Medical Workers Union. The union is in existence. It was the architecture of Dr. Sam Lomoki to kill the union. The unions are also angered by what they perceive as a maneuver by the Uganda Medical Association to claim gains made by the unions in improving the welfare of doctors. When they discover that we're in negotiations with the government and the results are about to yield, they quickly ran to the workers to mislead them. They want that when these results are out, they should be the ones be given the credit. We are saying no. Our aim is not to make Ugandans suffer. But the difference between striking and not striking is the same. The meeting between the striking doctors and government agencies, including the Ministry of Health, Education, the Attorney General and Ministry of Finance, kicks off at 10 a.m. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.